Oh, uh, hey. I've never been happy to actually see a joy pendant before, but now I'm, that is ironic. <laughs> Better than anything you can get without a prescription. Welcome back to my scrapbooking club. I'm Josh. I'm Nathan. And you're watching Scrapbook Extraordinaire. Ooh. With me, <laughs> sexy. The best thing you've ever thinged. Sounds weird. We're looking at my album. Hmm, what a good picture. Great memory as I delete it. <laughs> Goodbye. That's kind of important. Dang. That's another boss, so it's important. That's the ghost ship that nobody believes us, so maybe we'll <laughs> delete it. Um, I'll delete this guy's face. <laughs> No, that's a boss, and it says good. Mm. That's a boss, Dang. and it's good. <clears throat> that was... I took long... Wait, Your other then, girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, hopefully they both don't see these images. <laughs> and that was it. Okay, we just need room in case there's a boss in here, and we want to <laughs> take pictures. You know how funny it would be if they made like a game like this, and there just wasn't a boss? <laughs> People would be so mad, they'd be like, Oh, dude, what? I, I thought, what? Yeah, you just get to the end, it's like, there's a treasure chest. They're like, oh, where's the boss gonna come from? Go grab the treasure. Okay, they grab the treasure. Oh, I guess the boss will come afterwards so I can use the newfound treasure against it. Now leave. <laughs> Piece of the heart drops down. No! Exactly. What? I'm not sure how to explain this. Are you sure to say that I can't <laughs> command you? I think the light that I reflect off my instrument can be redirected using your shield, sex. We would have already had to know that by this point. Do you think this could prove useful? I think it already has. I hope you're not offended by my suggestions. I just want to be helpful. What a nice person. I know so many people in life that, like, are not like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> so maybe I just need to say that more often. Because I like suggest things to them and they're like, You don't think you think I haven't thought of that already? I'm like, you asked for my help. Yeah. Jeebies. You are helpful. Yeah. How did I do that? How did I talk to her? I don't know. Maybe she's just like, we've been standing in this room for too long. Let me <laughs> offer some help. I pushed up. Oh, you did? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was just random chance that it happened to do that hmm. okay so i'm gonna have her point this way yeah randomly maybe like there that looks pretty good and then <clears throat> that way i can use her light <laughs> oh why would they make it the same button <clears throat> oh, extended gameplay it's so bad you know when they always have that argument of like, is a game actually hard? Oh wow, she can just do it. Yeah. <laughs> huh. That was weird. Like, is this game actually difficult? Or is it just bad controls? Mm, you know, yeah. like, hmm, I don't know. This is kind of one of those moments. Like, how do they explain that in real life? You're like, stand over there, hold the shield right here. And she's like, okay. And then you go to pull out your shield, you're like, ah! Uh. She's like, oh, you said move? <laughs> no! <laughs> I said, uh! <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you don't speak otherwise. <laughs> Jeez, do I have to write a whole new dialect for you? The ums and the ahs? <laughs> yes, you do. It's my own language. I expect you to learn it for us to communicate. <laughs> yeah, then we could be friend birds. <laughs> Oh, ouch, you just friend-zoned her. Oh, I thought you were going to say, ouch, I just told her that she's not my friend until <laughs> she writes the language book. <laughs> Either way. Said, Only until then can we be friends. <laughs> know what that means? I underhandly said we're not friends. Dang. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you ever do that as a kid? What? Threaten somebody with your friendship? That was a weird way to word it. That sounds like, <laughs> if you don't do what I want... I will be your friend. <laughs> no, please. Anything but that. You know, I I know certain people though that like I definitely wouldn't want to be their friend. Yeah. I mean, you never will be their friend if you don't want to be their friend, but it's morally you'll have to hang out with them. Yeah, it's morally they decide to tag along you and you're like, "Go away." <laughs> Shoo, man. Um no, so I threatened one of my friends when I was a kid. <laughs> And I was super young, mind you. <laughs> Jeez. I threatened one of my buddies back in the day. Yeah? 
Because he was annoying me, and he was like... He was betraying me. That's how I felt as a kid. Mm -hmm. Like, he'd be my friend, and then he'd hang out with somebody else. Yeah. And it's not the fact that he was their friend all of a sudden, but it's like he would make fun of me behind my back or something. Oh, got it. And I was like, what's, what's up with that, man? Which, that would make sense, but then it wasn't that. Then I started using anything, and I was like, hey... If you don't do this, I don't think we can be friends anymore. Oh. He's like, oh no, I still want to be friends. So I'd be like, hey, give me the blue crayon. <laughs> no. Yeah, if, oh, if you're not going to give me that blue crayon, I, I don't think we can be friends anymore. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, take the blue crayon. <laughs> Dang, he really valued your friendship. I don't know why. <laughs> what an idiot, right? <laughs> So oh, you, I did it wrong. So you guys still friends to this day? We actually are. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> oh, thought I would have got a clue. Found some real friends. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that insult? If you go over to one of your friends and you're like, "You have no friends," is that insulting to him or you? Why would it be insulting to you? Because you're his friend. And you just said he has no friends, no, which you, means you amount to nothing. No, you're just saying we're not friends, though, basically, to his face. Oh. I guess so it's it more could insulting be understood to that way. So it's kind of a sideways of saying we're not friends. Anymore or period. Mm. Think that's going to follow me? Mm, depending on where you're standing. Oh, he scared me so. Uh-oh, I don't know if I can roll away from him. I couldn't. Thanks, Medley. <laughs> I think it's kind of hot. Oh, why? He's dead. Mm, and ah! is anemic the right word? <clears throat> anemic means like you're short on blood. Nope, that's something else. Anorexic? That... Yeah, but anemic is kind of emaciated. <laughs> yeah. What is anemic? No, I mean, what? what's that other word? Which one? When you're short on blood cells, usually white. I thought it sounded like anemic. I, I don't know. It's like, oh, <laughs> she had a berhaben and starts with an A. It's when you your white blood cells are low. Or when your red blood cells are low? Wouldn't that just be your blood is low? Whatever. Doesn't matter. More wasted money. More... Ah! <laughs> I keep forgetting! Well, it's not like there's a shop down here. Hey, Reed Dead, can I buy some, like... <laughs> I don't even know what. I have all gear. Or you something. can buy the scraps <laughs> off of me. It's old, ancient fashion. Might as well. This money ain't doing anything else otherwise. Might as well, yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> this is ancient architecture. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang. Medley's standing by it like she's one of those museum tour guides. I was going to say hostess. I don't <laughs> know what you'd call them. And this is the rock of St. Jane Arthur, an amazing figure. She rocked the house with her <laughs> wondrous things. You destroyed the modern art, you criminal to society. <laughs> I was just trying to add to it. Did you see how I balanced that bomb on top of that? Dang. It's like majestic art. It's, it's only there for a short period of time. Majestic art? Why not? <laughs> you just said it so like, <laughs> confidently that I was like, I've never heard of this majestic <laughs> art. If you would have said ephemeral art, I would have been like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but not many people would know what that means, so they just call it majestic art. It's like art that's only there for like a brief moment, and then it's gone forever. But why, how does that make it majestic? <laughs> it's like a makes sunset. More like a sunset. It's majestic when you look at it, and then it's gone. And you'll never get that sunset back. I guess. Ever. Oh, poop. Oh, fate worse than death. Oh, this fog isn't coming all the way down here. I should be safe. No. Okay, I am safe. Good. You stay here. I will kill these people for you. And how are you going to get out of here? I'll cross that bridge once I get there. Oh, gosh. Mister. <laughs> oh. Should have had your, your, uh, uh. The, the, the leaf. So you can blow it back at him after- Oh! <laughs> time to better that time. Game of hot <laughs> potato. Does that work with hot potato? Did you ever play hot potato? I think so, and like, I probably lost. I had a sobby childhood. I'm trying to think, like, hot potato. Like, I can see, like, when they actually commercialized hot potato, 
and they like sold the the hot potato and it was like a timer so that you passed it around I and then when it rang they were selling a hot potato <laughs> get them while they're hot <laughs> cuz it wouldn't work if it's not hot. Get, get it? But I, I remember just like playing hot potato like with a rolled up sock or something. Ew, that's gross. Well, it was a clean sock. It wasn't like, oh, let's play hot okay. potato. Let me take off my <laughs> shoe and roll up my sock. Here we go. That's what I figured. I mean. That would actually make sense though. Then yeah, it's then more you like, want to hold it. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, gosh. <laughs> it passes off. Disgusting. But then how would you figure out who lost? Was it like, um. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Musical chairs. Like there was music playing and then they just. This is why you need adults. Because as kids, it's just straight anarchy. Mm. I can't fly higher. Now I'm get, doing that thing where I'm like... So you need adults to... To give you structure. Mm. Because I can totally see that game being like my least favorite game ever. Mother may I. Oh, that, that, that game is stupid. It's stupid, but it does teach you a good lesson. Who your friends are? <laughs> no, listen to your mother. Oh, oh. And always ask her for advice. That's true. It also teaches you that your mother shows favoritism. Dang, it does. Yeah, and then at the end of the day, the loser is the person who their mother doesn't love them. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I mean, I guess there's no arguing with that one, though. Now that I thought of it, I'm wondering if all of our audience members even know what Mother May I is. Because it's pretty old. And I'm sure it has died off because, like we both said, it's pretty stupid. I it's like, like tic-tac-toe. It. What? Like tic-tac-toe. It's like, it's fun the first few times, and then you figure out the logic to it. And yeah, then, and then it you can never everything. play it again. Yeah, I, I literally can't play tic-tac-toe anymore. I'm still questioning the three-dimensional tic-tac-toe. You know, where you got, like, three different boards stacked <sighs> on top of each other? That sounds like too much. Or there was, like, <clears throat> the, like, tic-tac-toe, but it was, like, tic-tac-toe tic. Because there was four of them. You had to get four in a row on, like, three-dimensional platforms and stuff. It was epic. That sounds, like, too much. And it was computerized, too. <laughs> what? Yeah, like, 3D layered what? grids no. with, like, little uh. orbs of red and blue. Okay, you stay here, because, I don't know. Yeah, we definitely harp. trusted the harp last time. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. <clears throat> um... Oh, this is where a staircase is going to be made. I've seen that enough. I think that's where the door is going to open, but sure. Uh, we need light. I loved that other game, though. Red light, green light. That one was fun, because it made sense. Okay, we have I'm... to explain Mother May I. Oh, okay, sure. <clears throat> mother May I is this game. If you didn't know, I'm going to say it really quickly. One person is the mother. And you're trying to get to her, and you're on like the other side of the room. Yeah. And then so it's your job to say, Mother, may I take one big step? Or you could say, Mother, may I take two small steps? And Mother can either say yes or no. That's the premise of the game. Yeah. Whoever gets to her first wins. But it has nothing to do with your skill. It literally just has to do with the bias of whoever's playing the mother. Yeah. That's why much. I don't understand it. <laughs> it's weird. And then you'd always play with those... Those people who, like, two people were friends. Oh, I hated that. So then... And your kids, so you have, like, this crazy friendship where it's like you will always be friends until i don't know like you know if you don't help your friend and they're like you betrayed me kind of a thing mm. so yeah so you're just playing and once it's that way then you'll never win i'm like there's no skill yeah this game makes no sense pretty much why so that's my whole spiel on why mother may i <laughs> Is not the game for me. Which is the why I liked Red Light, Green Light better. Still the same premises of trying to get to the end, but you had the person at the end, like, turn their back to everybody, and then say, Green Light, and then everybody had to run towards them, and they turn around and say, Red Light, and anybody they saw moving was out. Yeah. Which is another cool. good thing that teaches people you don't run the red lights, otherwise <laughs> you're busted. No, it teaches people you don't get caught running the red light. <laughs> <laughs> like with most things, kid, it's not kid. I'm only talking to one kid now. <laughs> one kid. Like most things, peeps and kids, it's not about not breaking the law, it's about not getting caught. Wow, is that our moral for today? I hope not. <laughs> It's true, but it's not really morale. Mm. The tea. Can I can I tell her to come down? I don't know, maybe. Medley, won't you come on down? Join me in this 
Fun town. Hey, I could. I was going to say playground, but sure. Is this a playground? Why not? Oh, look, we can kill this elephant. Mm. Nothing I love more than killing elephants. <laughs> the smell of elephants dying in the morning <laughs> wakes me up over term. I always wondered how Link does this. What? <laughs> With his little hands. He grips absolutely nothing, a flat surface, and moves stuff. That is true. So impressive. What a man. Well, you do have the strength gauntlets. Strength doesn't let you grab You're flat just surfaces. You're just shoving your nails into the <laughs> oh, rock. Oh, jeez, that's even worse. I thought you were going to say my whole fist into the rock. Uh, like your fingers are like... And then just pulling it. Okay, so now I have this one which shoots in this random direction. It definitely looks like there's something that's supposed to go right there. So tell her to burst the light on that. Now see, you're ah. supposed to stand there, so she stands there and shines the light towards you over there. I'm shining this light right around here, looks good. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go over here and be like, shine on your brother. Oh, dang it, and I'm gonna stand here, and I'm gonna start destroying these things. I hate that it has to play like this long mmm cutscene. And guess what? I actually have to shatter all of them because this thing's so tall. <laughs> it's the land of mirrors. Oh <clears throat> no. Mirror oh land. gosh. Moraland. Moraland. <laughs> Moraland. Guess what? It's money that I can't hold in my purse. I mean, wallet. <laughs> Oh, dang. Ah, this <laughs> land is cruel. <laughs> I should just let it go away. Mm. Watch all the OCD people scream. I yeah, I'm kind of like that. Okay. Oh, that was it. For that half. Now you got that fix half. It. Yeah, this is the whole other half of the room. But that looked like it pretty much covered everything. Yeah, but what's it doing? I don't know, but it played the song. <laughs> Come on! To the other side of the room! Whoa! You're assuming she could jump down from there. Oh my <laughs> gosh, thank goodness. <laughs> Knowing her, she doesn't know how to... Okay, so maybe she can jump down, she can't climb... I don't know. Did I say come on? Because I was trying to pull out my shield. <laughs> It worked either uh, way. Get up! I can't jump up the part that's broken! Here's your 20 rupees that you can't hold. Uh, oh, hey. I've never been happy to actually see a joy pendant before, but now I am. That is ironic. I've never <laughs> had joy when looking at joy pendant. Pendant? <laughs> Too bad this idiot's in the way. <laughs> oh, that's me. Flipping. <laughs> I mean, controls. Emphasis on the trolls. <laughs> Dude, do the thing. Well, there's a symbol of a scorpion on the ground. But why? But why what? What do scorpions have to do with light? With light? Yeah. Scorpions have been the holders of light. What? Because when they, sh when they stick you with their venom, you get light-headed. <laughs> and the ancient people called it light-headed because they feel that when the sun shone in your face... Sometimes you'd go hoo, hoo, and get what we call modernly lightheaded. And so thus they started theorizing that it's not that you went into shock, but that there's just too much sunlight in your brain. Thus you were getting lightheaded. So when oh. they got the same feeling when they got shocked or stung by a scorpion, they thought that the scorpion was putting sun in their brain. Oh, weird. Why did this go the whole way? <laughs> because it was close enough to kill the elephant. <laughs> Killing elephants. Because scorpions kill elephants, that's why. And that's why they're the bearers of light. Mm-hmm. Because elephants are evil in this oh, world. Oh, so the elephants are the bearers of darkness. <laughs> that's the most <laughs> unfrightening thing ever. Even in Lord of the Rings, when they were Oliphants, they weren't very scary. They hey, were no, cool. no. You want to see some scary elephants? Go off and watch Dumbo. Pink elephants on Pink parade. Pink elephants on parade. Dang, that stuff gave me nightmares. <laughs> That's like trippy cool though. Okay, we've done both. There's only one thing left to do. 
One Sariant person stands here and shines into that eyeball, and the other Pervasive stands over here and shines into this eyeball. All right. Serviant Pervasive will make an Trosive in the eyeballs of a boss. Viv. Not bad. But we're going to do that next time. What? So, yep, we did all that work, and you have to wait till next time to find out what's behind that secret door. That's a great moral. Teach people that. What's that on the wall? Oh, what? Now you'll never know the moral. <laughs> As I teach people to be patient. Everything that's worthwhile. Wait, I think I said that wrong. Wait, is that a door? That's a door! Oh my gosh! Dang, we're gonna have to wait for even more next <laughs> time! So, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, all the stuff you do to help us redirect the light. Join us next time where we go through this secret passageway we found, shine the light into the dude's eyes, and get closer to... Restoring power to the Master Sword. I've almost forgot why See, we were yeah, here. <laughs> I, I couldn't even say that last time. I'm like, getting to the end of the temple! Yay! I had no other idea of what the heck we were doing anymore. <laughs> Since I don't want the moral of the story to be things are only bad if you get caught and you can break the rules and as long as you don't get caught, I'm going to say the moral of the story is good things come to those who wait. Nothing worthwhile comes easy or fast. Watch this. So that means everything you get from Amazon. If it has one day shipping, it's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it.